represents water. Team Nine has put lots of effort into creating it. When we were brainstorming, we had many ideas. We wanted to use all the ideas. Sadly, we had to only use a couple of them. We decided to focus on the main water elements in Jewish history. For example, the Red Sea splitting was a huge milestone in our history. It also allowed us to escape the jaws of our enemy. The second thing we included was the whale from Jonah and the Whale. The lesson in this tale teaches us to be nice to others and think about others. It is important to treat each other fairly, with respect, and good intentions in mind. The, the Lord provided a huge fish for, uh, to, swallow to Jonah. swallow Jonah. Jonah lasted in the fish's belly for three days and three nights. It said that jo they said that Jonah prayed the whole time he was in the fish's belly. This shows that with the help of a water creature and a storm from God, we can get back on track to good intentions intersect. Um, the third thing we added was Moses breaking the rock with his staff. This was one of the elements that kept Moses from entering Israel. This was a challenging hard moment for everybody. The Israelites were letting their beloved leader go. The last idea is Noah's Ark. This story is all about the Ark flooding and killing many people. But he saved two pairs of each animal. This represents Teach one along. saving the earth. Hashem cared enough about all about all the amazing animals this, to save a pair of them. He loved them, so we should follow him by saving, by helping the world, just like he saved all the animals that he deeply but cared about. But we shouldn't about. only save the world. We should, we should save each other too. Go, 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 go.